Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Mike Malat versus Trevin, Trevin Giles. Mike Malat 10-2 and 1-4 and 1 in his last five fights. Lost to Neil Magny in the third round in a fight that he was completely dominating. Minus 270 favorite, 32 years old. 6-1 with a 73-inch reach. Fighting Trevin Giles, who's 16-6, and 2-3 and three in his last five fights. Plus 220 underdog, 2-1 two to one favorite is Mike Malat. Uh, 32 years old, six foot tall with a 74 inch reach, one inch in height for Malat, one inch in reach for Trevin Giles. I don't really like them. Uh, he's coming back after being flash KO'd against Pradas eight months ago. Even though he was looking really, really good in that matchup. And if you know how good Pradas is, you're a true G. But Trevin Giles, like I said, 16 wins, six losses. It sucks, too, because like he has 11 finishes out of 16 wins. He's also been finished all six losses. He's 7-6 and six in the UFC. And it sucks because like he gets a split decision against Preston Parsons, beats Lewis Kosi by decision, loses to Mala by decision, you know, two years ago. Bonfim guillotines him, and then Pradas finishes him in the second round in a fight that Jaws was winning. It was, he was winning. He was winning the fight. And, you know, Michael Morales <laughs> absolutely rushed him early. Drysis, you know, caught him. I thought it was a premature, little bit early of a stoppage, but he was hurt real bad, obviously. But this was a guy that was 10-0 at one point. And then guillotined two times in a row against GM3 and Zach Cummings. I did not think he beat James Krause, but, yeah. Destroyed uh, uh, Bevin Lewis, who people thought were good for a minute. Beat up. First person to beat Roman Delize. Again, there's a lot to like. The issue is he's 32. He's now been KO'd. Um, he's been finished a ton. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, all six of his losses are by finish. So, it, it, and he's beating guys like Preston Parsons, who's not really that great. Luis Coast, I don't think he's in the UFC anymore. It sucks because, like, Mike Belay, I, I thought he was performing well against Neil Magny before he wasn't. You know, he has 10 finishes, 10 wins. He also has nine first-round finishes and then one uh, first, second-round, one sub-second-round submission. But, again, the issue is, can Trevin Giles take the punches from Mike Balat. I don't think he's a great striker. I really don't. He has good pressure for sure. Yeah, he has, he has really good pressure and all that stuff, but I'm worried of the, about the durability of Trevin Giles. This could be another fight to where, you know, Giles looks good and then he's caught. So my prediction is no judges inside the distance, the over on this one. So as always guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you're picking. Peace.